Alright, so I am going to show you how to take a numerical derivative in Python, but we need a little backup work here. Okay, so at the end of this, we're going to have a program that's going to calculate derivatives, not with integration, not with derivatives, not with actually calculus, but with something else. Okay, so here's a function. Here's my function f of x equals 3x squared minus 2, the same thing I did before, and there's the graph right there. So what is the derivative? The derivative is a measure of the instantaneous slope. Okay. So we're not going to do instantaneous slope. We're not going to uh, have we're going to we're going to have really short slopes. Okay. So let's suppose I have these two dots right here. This dot right here has the coordinate x, f of x. So f of x is just a function. I put in whatever I want. I put in three, and I get three squared times three minus two. That's the value. Okay. So if I have any x value, I get my x function right there. Now, if I increase the x value by some value dx. I missed this shouldn't be this should be x plus dx that's not that's wrong right there x plus dx then my new coordinate appears x plus dx and my new function is f of x plus delta x so now i just use the normal slope formula and i get this it's the rise f of x plus delta x minus f of x over the run which is just going to be x plus delta x minus x which is its delta x and then the normal derivative says take the limit as the slope as the delta x goes to zero and then that's how you get this okay we and i did a video on that i'll include the link down below as long as i don't forget so here's how we're going to do this in python so we're going to start with some value x you can because you got to start somewhere you can't just do it for everything i'm going to start with like x equals negative three and then I need to pick how big my step size is going to be we can change that i'll start with 0 0.1 i'm going to calculate my f of x i'm going to calculate f of x plus delta x and then I'm going to use the slope formula to find the slope between those two points and put that in as my derivative okay and then I'm going to plot that that's my slope and then I'm going to increase my value of x and do it all again let's get started okay I'm going to do something here that might be a little weird watch this uh, Okay, so I'm going to use an actual Python function for my my math function. Okay, so in Python I can define a function. I'm just going to call it f. Surprise, right? And I'm going to whatever is in this thing. I'm going to show you how this works. Let's just put in here. Uh, let's say three times. Let's see. Uh, slope temp temp equals three times x t squared mi minus two. That's my function, and then return temp okay so now if I say f print watch this print f3 s2 and let's do another one print f1 okay let's run it let's save this I already saved it so there you go so if I put this has the function f of 2 if I put in 2 there for xt whatever I call on there 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 minus 2 is 10. If I put 1 in there, I get 1 times 3 minus 2 is 1. So this works, right? So this is a function. So it's really cool because I can actually make it look like math, even though it's a Python function. Um, so the two things here you want to have in a function, you want to put the definition, uh, you want to put your calculation, whatever in there, you want to return your value. You could have multiple steps in here. Um, it's bad form. If I, if I put f of x and x right there, it would work. Okay, but it's just it's just like hey that's that's like that's like not cool don't do that okay so now let's just let's just start let's do what we said we're gonna do x equals negative three dx equals uh, zero point one now I want to do this why oh you know what I need a graph so let's make a graph t graph equals the type of graph uh, x title is gonna be equal to x oops y title let's plot the function just to make sure things work so it's going to be f of x and let's call this uh f i'm going to call it f prime even though f prime equals g curve color equals color dot blue i always do blue i don't know why okay so now let's just say while x is less than three, uh, I want to calc I want to plot f. 
Okay, so let's look at, I'm just going to go ahead and plot it. So I'm going to say fp.plot. Uh, the x value is going to be x. The y value is going to be f of x. See how that looks? Isn't that cool? And then I need to increase x. x equals x plus dx. So remember, I have to say this all the time. That's not your normal equal sign. That says make equal to. Okay, I think that's enough. So let's run this and see what we get. Check it out. That's what you, that, that's the function. Okay, now I'm going to plot the, the slope. So uh, that's a good check to make sh sure things are working. So let's calculate the slope. Let's say uh, slope equals, uh, just like we said before, it's going to be f of x plus dx minus f of x. All of that divided by dx. I just literally used that same formula I had before in here. And then I'm going to plot that, except I'm going to not go slope and that's it check that out okay let's just check remember we did the derivative here okay so let's say uh, say df is the is the derivative and it's going to be uh, I can make it a function too just for, just for cool uh, just for the cools def df xt uh, it's going to be uh, temp 2 just because I don't want to make things weird. And when I took the derivative, I got 6 uh, xt. I ah, shouldn't do that. xtt. xtt. That was it. 6 times xtt return temp2. Okay. So now I can go to, oh, I need another graph. Let's call this uh, dfp equals uh, g curve. Got to spell that right. Curve color equals color dot red and then I can go down here and let's plot the actual theoretical value which is going to be dfp dot plot x and df x I think that works yeah they're right on top of each other check that out Okay, now let's just let's just make a bigger step size. Let's make the step size uh, 0.5. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so now they're not quite the same, you see, because my step size means that I'm not actually getting the correct thing going on here. Um, and, and as the limit, as delta x gets smaller and smaller and closer to zero, I get a better and better and better answer. But wait, we're not done watch this what if i want to do this for some other function let's say 3x cubed minus 2x um plus one plus plus one okay so now i need to i need to take the derivative of that so it's going to be actually 9 uh, x times xtt squared uh, minus two Okay, and I didn't change anything down here. I just changed my function. Check that out. And now you can really see the jaggedness of that, that solution. Let's make it down to 0.1. Let's see what happens there. Check that out. If I put this at 0.01, you won't even tell the difference. Okay. Um, I did that. And I, I, I'll leave this as a homework problem. I had that other derivative, 1 over x squared. See if you can change this program to do a numerical derivative for 1 over x squared. It will be fun. Okay, there you go. I'll talk to you later, and we'll do either math or physics, but I'll see you.